Greetings, Historia here once again. This time we are doing another launch review and there will be more of these to come in the very nearby future because I have a lot of footage from all sorts of places that is just waiting to get onto YouTube. The launch in question is the Sky Court Lounge in Budapest. It is a rather big airport with multiple lounges of which I have been to two. Would have loved to check out more, but unfortunately my flights have always been very early in the morning, so I haven't had the time to enter more than one per visit. The Sky Court Lounge is located in the food court area between the two parts of the terminal, which makes the location extremely convenient since you can reach any gate in less than 10 minutes on foot. This means you don't need to worry about missing your flight, even if you keep enjoying the lounge until the very end. Do leave some time for passport control though, if you need that. As for the lounge itself, it wasn't huge, but the layout was nice. You had a clear area where you could sit, eat and drink, and a separate area for food, alcoholic drinks and the bathroom. Very easy to navigate and every space had a clear and obvious purpose. There was even a computer for people to use, should they need one and didn't bring a laptop with them. The food selection was put on display very beautifully and there was everything from salads with custom dressings, fruit, yogurt, sandwiches with lots of stuff to choose to pair them with, as well as some flatbread stuff which was quite tasty indeed. The drink selection was also plentiful with beer, wine, non-alcoholic drinks, as well as some stronger stuff which was all self-service. Oh, and Coke Zero a plenty. In addition, there was a station that seemed like it could be serving hot food, but perhaps we were too early for that and couldn't confirm that either way. Hungary had completely abandoned every Covid-related precaution everywhere, so one can conclude that the lounge was operating completely like it always has at this point. And now we get to my favorite part of the video, which would of course be how to score this lounge. Using the same categories as in the past review videos, which are accessibility, amenities, comfort, as well as food and drink. Let's get started with accessibility. This got 4 stars from the both of us, simply because of the extremely convenient location and the fact that the opening hours were pretty good. Pretty good doesn't mean always open though, so can't go any higher than 4. Amenities. We'll both give this one 4 stars again. A pretty easy one because all the basics such as flight information, bathrooms, TV, Wi-Fi and newspapers were covered. It gets a bonus for the computers, but not quite enough to push either of us to give it that elusive 5 stars. Comfort. I am giving this one a full 5 stars. Here's why. We had time to stay there for a little bit over an hour before we had to get to our plane. And during this time we saw exactly one more visitor in the lounge. Yeah, it was early in the morning, but in some other lounges it would be packed pretty much from the moment it opened. So I wouldn't expect this to be a huge problem right now. Especially since Hungary supposedly isn't affected by Covid anymore. In addition, their layout was interesting as everything was sectioned off, which would make it more likely for you to be able to enjoy some nice peace and quiet while sitting in a comfortable chair, enjoying your food and drink. My girlfriend gave this lounge 4 stars because of the lack of windows. You can't plain watch here, so you will have to find other ways to entertain yourself. And finally, my favorite category, food and drink. We both gave this one 4 stars. The food was good and the selection was plentiful enough. I especially like the meaty flatbread and putting together my own sandwiches. It's kind of fun, but not something you want to be doing if you are in a big hurry, because you only have a few minutes to spare. The food and drink here is clearly something you want to enjoy slowly. We only had a bit over an hour and at least I felt really rushed trying to put together a video and also trying to get what was my breakfast in at the same time. The empty hot food containers that we saw might have taken this to a 5 star level, but since we didn't witness them with actual food in them, just 4 will have to do. Yeah, we were early, but perhaps some breakfast options could have been implemented to really go the extra mile. Have you been to a lounge in Budapest? Which of them was your favorite and why? I would love to hear your thoughts, so do leave a comment as I still have a few left to check out myself. And with that said, we are now done with this video. Leave a like and check out the other ones, and see you soon in the next one.